Anyway, a lot of the bad shit he has done has now blown up in his face. So let's get into it. Hey everyone, it's Rich Lux here, and today we're going to be talking about some drama. 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 Okay, girl, get your fake ass face full of makeup on because you ugly as f and you need it. Just like me and my fat ass. Okay, Mr. Potato Head was telling me that a lot of shit was going down. John Cookian is getting striked again. John Cookian doesn't bully people. Yes, he does, amigo. Hold up. What you say, bitch? He bullies people, amigo. Remember, you and John Cookie and took that Martin Lewis channel down. Remember that time you bully? I think it's because you are drinking this drama water. Remember, amigo? You know what? Get the fuck off my show, potato head. Shit. Uh, hold on. Someone's calling me. Hello? Fuck you. Why you bully my brother, huh? Why you bully him or you now? What you do, huh? Because I'm not bothered. Nobody? You nobody? No, you nobody. You weak. Okay, you just weak, okay? I'm not weak, bitch. Look you, mama, okay? A bear, so darling, caca. I'm the queen, honey. Queen? You're the queen of all the fake, okay? You're the queen of all the liar, okay? You're the queen, you queen of the sh shark shit in the bottom of the ocean. Watch <laughs> out, bitch, because I might try to hack you and get your IP address, honey. Oh, yeah? I'm shook, honey! What up, everyone? It's your boy, Martin Lewis! Team Real, welcome to Drama Tube, where we talk about YouTube drama and call out fake ass bitches here on YouTube. Recently, there's been some really big drama. Dustin Daly had called out Rich Lux. Not only that, but more information has come out to show that Rich Lux is really a shady person according and allegedly to these receipts and what people have been telling me. So let's get straight into the drama. For you guys who don't know who Rich Lick, Rich Licks, <laughs> that's a good name, Rich Lick. He's a YouTuber with over 20,000 something subscribers. He talks about YouTube drama here on YouTube. He does experiment and do different things now and then. He's one of the minions of John Cookian that tried to come for me. Then I put him in his place on my main channel. And when my channel got taken down, he decided that him and Cookian and Teabag Lady can try to bully my ass on you now. He puts a lot of makeup on his face. Every time he wakes up in the morning, it's like 50 layers of foundation. That's his makeup routine. You want to know what he looks like without makeup? We're about to see the exclusive picture of Rich Lux without makeup. A while back, there was a tweet going around. Allegedly, it was Jeffree Star basically calling John Cookie in a faggot. A lot of people were speculating of, if, is this tweet fake? Is it real? Like, there was no retweets of it or people added to the tweet where it says it's deleted. You know how some people would retweet things and you can go back on your wall and it will say it's deleted? There was nothing like that. So it was really weird that there was a tweet and a lot of people were saying that it was fake. More things have come out about where it could have possibly originated from due to Dustin's new video. So check this clip out. This is of Rich Lux saying that it was from a subscriber, the tweet. Subscriber of mine. And sent me a photo of a tweet Jeffree Star tweeted and then deleted it for whatever reason. But then in this private message that Rich had between Dustin, he said, I'ma say. Which means, a subscriber sent me this, that's what I'm going to say. So he lied about where he got the information from. Why? Now this is what Dustin Daly had to say about it. John, Rich, and I, we all had a Twitter DM. John Cookie and sends us his Google Drive and says this is going to be a big deal. And I was thinking to myself, what? <laughs> okay, so I look at it, it's got the video that John Cookie and had that was uh, struck down by Jeffrey Star. This tweet that he went to war with, and it also had the account snapshot from John's account where it said that he had a copyright strike where it has like little sad face. Rich said that a subscriber sent this to him. No subscriber ever sent that to him. 
John Cookian sent him this information. John Cookian suggested that we both make videos. In this video as well, Dustin released some messages that was between him and Rich Lux regarding me and the shit that happened to my channel. I haven't even spoke to Martin. Do you really believe it's it's cool to have someone's channel taken down and then go into comment and not bother? Martin Lewis, you know I don't like him for making fun of you. Yeah, that's quite funny. I'm sure you don't like me because I'm making fun of Dustin. I'm pretty sure you're mad because I put you in your place, Rich Lux. Dustin then says, so I will never report it. He then says, I don't think Martin thinks you flagged it. He thinks Chris and Queen from calling them scammers. I'm driving right now, calling you in a few, honey. The fact that you said to Dustin that I think it was Chris and Queen makes me think that you knew who it was. Like, it's just weird the way he worded that. Is it a possibility that Rich and John Cookian were behind my channel getting taken down? This is all speculation, of course. It's raining real bad, honey. Don't think it too much into it. I love you. I love you, Dustin. All your chance, now it's your chance to jump on you now with him like you were supposed to. During one of my videos, because me and Dustin had our beef, I did challenge him to come on you now for a discussion and a debate. Obviously, Rich saw this as a good opportunity for Dustin to get views and told him to do it. You said he was going to expose me. Now this shit down, he can't. Now that his shit is down, he can't. So I'm happy. Now it sounds, I know it sounds mean, but I'm happy. It's fucking damn. Honey. Damn, you were happy that my only stream of income was taken away? What? Wow, that's really nice. You know, I'm in a country. I can't get a job because I'm not a Thai. It was YouTube's the only income I have, putting a roof over my head, feeding me, and you're happy. Wow. I'm pretty sure you're just happy because you thought the truth would never be revealed, but it's out there now. Honey! Seriously, the fact that you're happy that my only stream of income got taken away is pretty sad and pathetic. Justin goes, Wow, I would hope no one would ever feel that about me. You don't make exposed video on people that are mean. You're telling me, Rich, that the videos you do are not mean? Really? First of all, Rich Lux, out of everyone, I thought you would understand my sense of humor more than anyone. When Rich did that video towards me, I found it funny. I wasn't hurt or upset at all. And I thought he wasn't upset about my shit either. He even said he's not bothered. So it's quite obvious you were bothered and you were fake and you couldn't be upfront to my face. Well, on Twitter anyway. Bruh, that's crazy. Why are you going to get upset over that? You know if you're friends with me, John won't deal with you, or at least that's what I believe. That's a shame. Hold on, let me read this. I'm just mad right now. Let me cool off. You're doing what you think is right. I'm mad because Martin Lewis made a video about us. The man you support then. Dustin then says, Be man left to side who deserves having the channel taken down. If I can do that and he's made two videos on me, why can't you? This witchy has a point. Rich and Dustin came for me first. How are you going to get mad if someone makes a video response back to you? What are you, a baby? Mama. Honey. This is where I have to agree to disagree, honey. It's still cool if you love you so much, but if you're going to be best friends, we if we're going to be best friends, we have to know that nobody said you can't be friends with me, but supporting Martin made me mad because I think he's a bully. We'll talk later about it, honey, because I think our friendship is better than this petty drama. Get on you now with John and explain yourself. John Cookian even said himself that you and him came to my you now to show support. Oh, I guess, I guess that was a lie, huh? Why are you mad at Dustin, but you're not mad at John Cookian? This tells me that this little bullying tactic you tried to pull on me on you now when my YouTube was down was planned. You even tried to cover it up by saying that John Cookian's you now was hacked. Come on, Rich. 
This is all blowing up in your face right now. You really need to own up to your shit. It seems to me that Rich is in the wrong at the moment. Even his other friends are talking about it. Friends I'm about to talk about, or one of his old good friends, is Ashley Kyle. She has over 2,000 something subscribers. She does everything from vlogs, beauty, and reviews here on YouTube. Now, Ashley recently came on my you now to show her side of the story because recently she received a Valentine letter from Rich Lux. And Rich Lux put in the letter, do not share this because it will cause drama. Obviously, this is him telling Ashley, don't share this because he doesn't want maybe here for the tea and John Cookie in to question his loyalty to them. Your friendship is more important than other people's opinions. Ashley was also kind enough to come on you now and share her side of the story. Or if you want to see that, you can check out a video that will be uploaded of our interview. The link will be in the description below. I also like to say that I welcome Rich Lux to come on my you now so we can have a debate and discussion about this. It's only fair that I do that with him as well. I doubt he will come on because he's lied so much and at the moment he's running away from everything. But I feel like it's an obligation for me to do. He even tried to get one of his audience to turn against Dustin and Ashley. Check out the receipts. I find it so interesting I stopped talking to people, never said nothing bad about them, just distanced myself and they start making videos talking bad about me, hating on me. For that, for what reason? What fucking reason? I had no clue. Well, Rich Lux, maybe because you've done a lot of shady shit, like blocking your friend Dustin when he was standing up for me when my channel was wrongfully taken down. Anyway, this viewer said, Well, from what I've heard and seen, there's been some serious shady stuff going on with you, and for you to sit there and tell me that my friends have been talking shit about me and you defending me, but you won't tell me who or what, I find that very odd. Basically, Rich Lux has told this person that Ash and Dustin was talking shit about them and that he was defending them. But, he never proved it, which you will see in this receipt. Check how he gets triggers and flips out on his viewer. What you heard? Nothing of what you know. What shady stuff? What shady stuff? What is so shady? Tell me. I guess you're fake too. Rich ends up asking this person for their number and they say... I don't like giving out my number to people who have threatened to hack IP addresses and shit down their accounts. And that's because of this tweet that Rich posted on Twitter when he got all mad and flipped out at everyone. Anyway, let's just get to the part when Rich flips out. Y'all see you hating on me and don't even know the T after I defended you. This person then goes, how did you defend me? I need to know. And then he goes, fuck off. Hi everybody, Rich Lux is mad. It's quite obvious that Rich is getting really mad because the truth is coming out. And he can't handle that because he's a, he's a drama ta channel. He's calling out other YouTubers, but yet he's doing the same thing that a lot of these other YouTubers are trying to do. Recently he made a video about um, Mua, Mandy Mua, whoever that guy's name is. I'm sorry, I don't watch these beauty YouTube channels. He made a video recently about him because he stroke Strike? <laughs> hey girl! <laughs> he strike... <laughs> he strike John Cookian's channel. What's really funny about this is that Rich Lux tried to intimidate Dustin to take his video down, which J Dustin ended up doing it. Check it out. Wait, you auto-recorded our conversations without me knowing and posted private screenshots you said you would never post, share, or share? Wow. I'm pretty sure you broke a few laws here. The only thing you expose in this video is that when you have a falling out with people, you quickly spill the tea. You swore you would never do this. All I did was block you for being fake. Never said anything bad about you. Never mentioned you in the video. I moved on. You just publicly posted a video showing you cannot be trusted by people. You sat on the phone with me for hours and talked shit about Peter Mon. And I know you talked to him for hours. If he knew the things you said about him, I he wouldn't talk to you. I'm asking you to take the audio recording of this video out because you keep private audio recording of me about knowing that we're private and not... Without me knowing that we're private and not public. 
I don't know what you and Ash have against me. Y'all are trying to take down my channel. You have 24 hours to make the edits to the video before I flag this video for privacy complaint. Any comments left in this thread will not be read or seen by me. Looks like to me that he's trying to silence Dustin Daly for speaking out the truth. What do you guys think? Now allegedly, here are some of the voice memos that were between Rich and Dustin Daly. Dustin motherfucking Daly. When I start making these big ass YouTube checks, I'm gonna start cutting you a percentage, girl. We're about making my manager, honey. Um, it's quite obvious due to the receipts that have been released is that Rich only cares about the money. And Rich isn't the only one that's only hungry for the money and the views. So is John Cocky. But that will be another video because I have the audio that proves that John Cookian only cares about the views. At the end of the day, there is nothing wrong with that. There is nothing wrong if all you care about is making money on YouTube and getting views and likes. That's cool if that's what you want. But don't freaking lie to your audience and manipulate your audience and create drama and damage someone's reputation to get those views and those subscribers. And this whole big mess is something that Rich has created. You can't get mad at Dustin for sharing that information. The only person you should get mad is yourself because you don't act like that in the public. You don't. You want to be fake and say that behind closed doors and do all these dirty backdoor dealings, you dirty men. And you want to social climb people and you don't care who you hurt in the process to get successful on YouTube. Anyway guys, I know I'm your guilty pleasure, so make sure to hit that subscribe button as I am uploading daily. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And salute and peace.